Up next, one fridge, five times the chilling power. Then, a brand new kitchen that's all about the view. You forget about everything you did the whole week. <laughs> Plus, whip up family fun in a flash. Next. Hi, I'm Tava Smiley and welcome to I Want That Kitchens. Your fridge may be cool, but it's got nothing on this one that's five times fresher than anything you've ever seen and lets you chill out in style. You need a fridge to keep things cool, but you've never seen one like this before. That the meal is not only what we eat, but also what we drink. This is a first because we are combining the complete culinary concept of your food and your wine together in one unit. It features five separate temperature zones. Five separate zones with more to offer than you can ever imagine. The top right section is a standard fridge. Down below are a set of cutting edge bio-fresh drawers. And over on the left is a freezer, plus a built-in wine cellar with two zones of its very own. On the top, you can store your reds and the bottom your whites. This is actually two separate compartments, so I can have 64 here, 45 here. Storing your food and wine in one unit is a first, and so is this specially sealed freezer section. I'm opening my freezer door. The cold air is not escaping. The warm air is not getting in. Completely closed drawers. They protect my food. And the super frost setting makes this freezer positively arctic. If you are gonna go and do some grocery shopping, you wanna seal the properties of the food as fast as possible. Superfrost will drop the temperature to minus 26 Fahrenheit. This is professional freezing. So food will stay as tasty as the day you bought it. Keeping things at their peak are what these biofresh drawers are all about. The combination of this low temperature and high humidity will give you a storage time which is up to three times longer than your refrigerator, but more importantly, it will keep the vitamins and the nutrients of the food. Lettuce will stay crisp for 10 days. Versatile and fresh, this five-zone fridge will multiply the cool factor in your kitchen. Leftovers can be great, but sometimes you don't know how long they've been in the fridge. So, try these time strips. They're like an alarm clock for your food. You just press the button to activate, and then stick them to the outside of your container. Now the colors change as the days go by and your food expires, so you'll know when to toss it out. Your nose is going to thank you. For more information on how to freshen up your kitchen, just log on to our website at hgtv.com. And now, this next homeowner may hail from England, but there is no place he feels more welcome than his Bayside, New Jersey home. You want to get the, um, the uh, cheese and the tomatoes out? We're having some company over and we're making um, salmon. Ray Silcock and his fiance Huda have found the perfect recipe for romance. I do salads and sides and he usually does the main. It's amazing how messy you can make your clothes if you don't know. <laughs> But that's the last thing guests tend to notice when they drop by the couple's Long Beach Island getaway. They're more impressed with the breathtaking scenery. It's very calming, it's very tranquil, very soothing. But very soothing. And very private. The nearest house is probably almost a half a mile away at the back. But when they first bought the place, the inside wasn't quite as spectacular as the view of the bay and the wetlands on the outside. The house was built approximately 1980, and I think the kitchen had not been updated since then. It was functional, but it was just very, very basic. Unfortunately, they were stuck with the original setup until designer Meg Rogers stepped in to pull off the stellar makeover. There were a lot of built-ins. There were built-in couches. Everything was, was built in. It was fairly dysfunctional. So they took out everything and started from scratch, creating one giant space where the kitchen is open to the living room and dining room. This is really the heart and soul of this home. It's a small 2,000 square foot home at the shore that really lives like a 4,000 square foot home because of all the space that we've incorporated from the outside in. That's thanks to the floor to ceiling windows that make the room a whole lot brighter. And since it can't be summer all year round, they came up with a way to make the kitchen inviting no matter what time of year. 
There was no question that we wanted it warm and comfortable and that it could feel appropriate from season to season. So they warmed things up inside by adding customized Asian-inspired walnut cabinets around the room. We styled it after a Japanese tansu. So it's really styled after a piece of furniture in the room as opposed to kitchen cabinetry. And in this kitchen, nothing is locked in place, not even the cabinet doors. I think the fact that they slide is actually quite uh, utilitarian as well. It seems illogical, it seems as though uh, hinged cabinets would offer a better access, but, but they really don't. The look was such a hit that they used the same material for the cabinets under the island. Speaking of which, check out how they replaced a dysfunctional triangular shaped island with a new oversized model that has it all, like loads of storage space, a stainless steel countertop, and sliding Brazilian cherry cutting boards. It allows two different people to work here at one time. I think what the stainless steel does, it gives it a sort of a contemporary age that it might not otherwise have. It's great. And nothing sets the mood quite like candlelight. So take a look at the fixture they installed above the island. It's an electrical pendant that shines up and down. When people come in, especially at night, they think that either Huda or I got up on a ladder and lit the candles individually. Since the backyard view played a big part in the new space, Meg decided to use honed green granite for the countertops to mirror the wetlands outside. We were looking for something that was calmer, more serene. The color was feeling like it was something that came from the outside. And because they were working with a limited space, they chose to incorporate the same granite into the backsplash. It's just a quieter solution. Now, the most important job in the new kitchen was getting the cooking area into tip-top shape. One of the things that we really like to do when we do kitchens is create zones. You shouldn't have to get into the cook's way. The golden triangle is the sink, the refrigerator, and the stove. And they're set up in this triangle so that you can take stuff from the refrigerator, wash it in the sink, and put it in the oven. But staying out of this chef's way isn't the problem. Figuring out where to eat when he's done cooking usually is. It's almost like an eating space to suit any occasion. And Ray's not kidding. There's the front courtyard, the breakfast bar counter, the dining room table, poolside, or the house favorite, the screened-in porch, which serves as a full second outdoor kitchen. It's all made out of mahogany, so it holds up very well. We generally, you know, eat on the screened-in porch. My favorite space to eat. So from the pool to the porch and everything in between, Ray and Huda have a relaxing new kitchen that ties it all together and keeps them entertained every time they walk through the door. You forget about everything you did the whole week. <laughs> it's so relaxing. It's a very um, stress-reducing environment. It's a great kitchen. Coming up, a microwave that's rolling out some new tricks. You just touch and it opens. Then slide right into the most comfortable seat in town. It's just as good as my bed. Plus, a new kitchen that makes Mother Nature proud. Next. Are you a little tired of staring at a big bulky microwave on your countertop? Well take a look at this cool new model we saw at the Kitchen and Bath Industry Show that seems to vanish right before your eyes. One thing almost every kitchen has is a microwave. But if it's not hidden away, it can stick out like a sore thumb. So why not just slide it out of sight? This is our new microwave drawer. It does all the same things every microwave does except it opens automatically. You just touch and it opens. Put your food in, touch to close, set it. And you can put it almost anywhere you need it. You can put it under an oven, put it anywhere you want. It gives them so many more options of where to put the darn microwave. It's even equipped to help make your life easier. It actually has a, a keep warm, so it, it'll actually work as a warming oven as well. Now that's a sizzling idea. And if your little ones like to help out at dinner time, you can be sure they're going to be safe because of one very special feature. This unit also has a control lock 
So you're not going to ever have issues with uh, the children cooking something they shouldn't. So go ahead, defrost, reheat, cook, or just keep it warm, because this microwave drawer is a scorcher. Here's something else you'd like to slip into your kitchen. It's a mixing bowl with a base. Both pieces are covered in rubber, so while you're stirring, it won't move. And its dome shape makes it easy to angle it any way you need it. And my favorite part is the base also acts as a lid. Cool, right? When you're done mixing, you can sit back and relax at one of the best seats in the house. Love to lounge while you eat? Then a cozy banquette might be your ticket to comfort. The built-in seating is the newest craze in kitchen design. They're eye-catching, durable, and nostalgic. The old saying, what's old is new, it's very true. If you look back, window seats were very popular. And it's that same kind of concept. And these booths can usually hold a big dinner crowd. It seats someone in the vicinity of maybe eight people. I think it just kind of gives you an ability to get together. It creates a, a close and a cozy space. So go ahead and laze the day away in one of these inviting nooks. It's just as good as my bed. Probably the best part place to hang out in my house, uh, aside from my room, but that's when I don't want my brothers around. But if your kids are feeling friendly, it's a great place for the <laughs> whole family to reconnect at the end of a long day. The best part is that you can dress them up however you'd like. A nice feature about a banquette is that you can decorate it also if you want to put cushions and you know bring different colors into the space. Plus, they've got a little something hiding underneath. And it's another really great use of space because you can remove the cushions and this opens up. So slide right in, sit back, relax, and dig in. Now eating at home can feel like a night out on the town. Coming up, sticks and stones have made this home a nature lover's dream come true. Plus, the backsplash that'll have you seeing double. Next. Welcome back. This next couple just couldn't get enough of their spectacular backyard view, so they decided to blend the whole look into their new kitchen, and Mother Nature would approve. You think you see that work? Steve and Lisa Melchior are big fans of the great outdoors. It's a love that I've always had, and I just keep it a part of my life. So they did what any nature lover would do. They brought the best of their backyard indoors creating a kitchen that used the lush green grounds of their New Jersey home as inspiration. Steve can be working in the kitchen, Phoebe and I can hang out in here and play. But their kitchen wasn't always so open and inviting. They called on designer Bill Noval to help plant the seeds for a bigger and better floor plan. Opening the kitchen to the garden became a really powerful idea. It wasn't necessarily the first thing they walked in the door with but it was, it was more something that we sort of evolved together. The first step was making way for the spectacular garden view. The first thing I saw was a little doorway, a big wide sliding door here, and a very typical looking little breakfast area in kind of a U-shaped kitchen. There was a little window right about here for the sink in front of it. It was very conventional, kind of bland. So they broke down the wall and came up with a creative way to link the kitchen to the sunroom. We decided to make these great big columns. This column has plumbing for the sink. But what gives the kitchen its main appeal is the hearth, where Lisa let her passion for horseback riding shine through in the tiled tapestry behind the stove. I'm a horse lover, so we love the fact that I incorporated some of the things. But if you get it really close, it kind of has a stained glass feeling to it. Highlighting it all is a hand-designed stone wall that surrounds the entire cooking area. The wonderful stone work by the very talented young mason that we used just makes it that much more of a pleasure for me to be working here. Rather than just taking stones and putting them up against the wall, he actually placed them down so that they were proportioned to the size and shape of the space we had. In fact, 
The rock-solid design made such a splash in the kitchen, they even added it to the walls in the bathroom. I'm just gonna flip these. Hidden underneath the hearth is a fan that comes in handy when Steve's busy cooking up family favorites. It's absolutely mandatory to have a high-powered fan like this um, just to suck up all the smoke that will get into your interiors. And since they didn't want to draw attention away from the look of the new wall, the couple had the fan installed into the ceiling above the range and disguised it as an air vent. When it was time to add a heating and cooling system, they ran into a bit of a problem. But they came up with a simple solution. They hid the ductwork underneath the island, so now air flows through it and out of the vent on the end. Right on top of the island was the perfect place for one of Steve's face.